Okay, hello everyone. This is Lot of Sweetness here, 2011. And in this video, I want to sh talk to you. Well, yeah, I was about to say show you, but anyway, talk to you about um, uh, new um, filter effects that you can actually download and use in GIMP. And I'll show you exactly where it would show up. And like you see here, you see script foo fo, whichever one I'll call it script foo fo. <laughs> but anyway, and to show you, they're all in gray right now, but I'll show you in a second. But that's what it is, and it gives you different layer effects. So I'll minimize this. And now I'm going to show you where you can actually get it. So once your internet comes up I'm going to type in GIMP and just press search my internet's really slow I'm terribly sorry oh my mm. anyway <laughs> uh, you'll see GIMP the GUN image manipulation program in it which is http www.gimp.org and that's GIMP's website so we'll click on that and once GIMP's website comes up now you want to go to plugin registry and just click that once that comes up you want to type in layer effects I've already typed it into figure out how to make this video once already so that comes up already but once you type in layer effects just press search and once again my internet is being retarded oh man but anyway layer effects you'll see well first you'll see search results go down in the search results until you see layer effects it might be a little bit different it might be further down further up for you once you open it but just find layer effects and you'll see here what it says just try to find exactly this right here and once you see that just press click that layer effects anyway and now what you want to do is scroll down until you see this attachment here click this first attachment which is 55.46 kilobytes and that's the one you want to click I've already downloaded that so I'm not going to download it again but I'll show you exactly where to copy and paste it into so you can actually use it in GIMP so I'll exit out of that and what you want to do here is go to your computer and open up local disk C then go to program files and go down to where you see GIMP 2.0 and then share then GIMP once again 2.0 and then you'll see brushes and then so on and so forth but what you want to do here is go to scripts and that's exactly exactly where you need to copy and paste that attachment to to actually use it in GIMP is in this folder here so once you open up this folder this is exactly where you need to copy and paste it in but now that I've showed you that I want to show you one other thing to make sure you have an idea exactly what to expect once it once you copy and paste it okay now once you copy and paste that in there and you exit out all that stuff and then you open up GIMP first thing you want to do is go to filters and then go down to where you see script foo foo fo, whichever one <laughs> and you'll see refresh scripts click on refresh scripts and if you if you didn't click on refresh scripts this will 
come up everything will be in gray blah 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 and you can't use that you can't click on nothing so go down to fil go to filters script fufo <laughs> and refresh scripts and click that and it'll take a second and there it is and just go in there and you can actually use them now and these layer effects are a little bit different from the actual filter effects the original filter effects there is a few that's the same but in these like the drop shadow here it actually gives you more detailed or in-depth um, ways of doing things to make your work really stand out to make it look awesome and so yeah that's pretty much how you get these new layer effects and where to get them and download them and where to place them and all that good stuff but once again I appreciate all my subscribers and hopefully soon I'll get a little bit more than what I'm getting but hey some you gotta start somewhere so and if I don't have a video in here that uh, in my channel that will help you out uh, just leave me a comment and I'll be more than glad to make the video to show you how to do what it is you need to know how to do but once again just um, rate my videos a big thumbs up because a good rating will get you a lot more views so with that being said this is Lot of Sweetness here, 2011, and so yeah, adios everyone.